All right, listen. Before we start up with the video, there's something you need to know. In around 20 minutes, I'm gonna meet up with Victor, who is the founding member of Tornafire, which is a Chilean, totally awesome, technical, brutal death metal band. You should totally check them out. He is in Europe, uh, he was on tour, and he was about to promote this here, his first book. And it is about uh, his life, in Chile, as a metalhead, it is about metal itself and it is about the Chilean society in general. Now, the problem is the following. Meanwhile, while he was touring, in Chile uh, <laughs> there was an outbreak of violence because people started rioting because they are not really happy with the situation and how their lives are going. And our problem here is now that now we are forced to mix politics and society with music. And the both of us, we're not into that. So you should be aware of this. Now enjoy the video. In Chile, a state of emergency has been declared as protests grow violent against government plans to increase subway fares. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, this here is Victor from Tornafire, the exclusive uh, death metal project and actually a real band uh, from Chile and he has written this book here which is the Chilean Burger Kingdom and I'm just gonna read um, the description here. A deep look into the Chilean medieval Catholic society and how its favoritism, feelings of guilt, fears and hypocrisy are holding back the free will, forms of expression and even themselves inside the region. Now, um, mm. here's, a, here's a little uh, thing that you need to know. Um, I am all for uh, the separation of uh, politics and music. You know, mm. I think it should not be actually intertwined, but this no. here is, uh, w well, it's a really fun coincidence almost that you have written this yeah. uh, not that long ago and now yeah. since like one week yeah, yeah. Uh, we have the consequences so we have here somewhat of a weird intersection uh, between death metal and society politics which is absolutely weird that we're in this situation you know yeah. so first of all would you care to tell me how you got the idea to write this book yeah the idea was uh, just I, I came here to do lots of tours in the past so just i want to introduce how, how is to live in in chile to the the crowd here was the main purpose at the beginning because uh I thought that that was pretty interesting because uh, they can have a, a point of view about the, the conditions that the, uh, the people have there. And I, th I thought that was good to do a tour and put a, a, besides a book to, to try to introduce more deep meanings of the, the band and how it is to be a Chilean and have a band. Yeah, because what triggered me as I was reading this book was uh, this description of you being arrested over there for having long hair. Especially yeah. playing in a band, especially being a, a, a metalhead, which is a bizarre thing for me as a European. The system um, there is, I, I don't can, I cannot speak about politics, but in the daily thing, it's really a, a lots of oppression. Uh, and it feels, um, it's weird, and at the end, the people have lots of stress and they are really negative. It's, it gets hard to, for the people have uh, happiness there. It's not a darkest place, but uh, in the Zoom, it's, uh, not, it's not a fair deal, really. Uh. What's the reason for all of that? Uh, I, can, I can bring my point of view as a worker. Uh, I think this is the humans uh, have, have to talk, and this is a basic thing. And when the, the people don't, ca cannot express their emotions, I think uh, some, uh, they got stressed and stuff. So. Uh, when you are an adult there, uh, I am not into economy and politics, but, but when I, ha I have my daughter, uh, never, never uh, anymore, no, uh, can, I cannot uh, save money like before. Uh, the economy changed when you, have, uh, you are adult there. It's totally, I think it's, it's more or less the same everywhere, but over there, is, I think it's more hard because if you don't have good jobs, you will not have money uh, to save and as well you, you cannot bring good schools to the kids because the schools there have you have to pay for them 
I think I think uh, it's a a lot. It's a big change of success that uh, uh, makes that the people can not uh, do it properly there. It's, it's everything is about the money. You just have to have money to have happiness. It's like uh, it's like a secret society in a way. And now the people are make uh, have a they are making changes and they can express themselves. That, that's that a good thing that didn't happen in, since many years ago. Since many years ago, really, yeah. Yeah, you are a death metal artist. You are somewhat of an extreme person uh, in that regard. You know, not everybody is listening to music mm -hmm. at all, but even less people are listening to metal, even less people are listening to extreme metal, you yeah. know, and specifically when it comes to this technical uh, death metal kind of a thing that you are doing over there with Torn of Fire, it is always, you know, a, a question of how much you are able to gain out of that. And you are in that position where you are able to tour Europe once a year, right? I mean, this is like your sixth tour yeah, here. Six. Yeah, we uh, met up last year and he kind of came back. And uh, my impression was always that this is something that is uh, well, kind of a job almost a little bit. You know, you have to be serious when you wish yeah, to have success, true. right? Moving around the planet, playing everywhere, playing with Motorhead, yeah. uh, being picked by Slayer, you yeah. know, as opening band. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, it's a lucky thing and it's a kind of uh, weird things like uh, knowing a girl, uh, pretty girl in, in, in a random situation and what is happening right now in Chile is a random thing that is really crazy, out, out of control. And for me, just many things happen uh, just for coincidence and for a, a portion of lucky things and uh, good situations around me. So. And as well, I'm a really, I, I put lots of job and efforts into the music, so it's a mix up of the of both both parts. Uh, um, daily in living in Chile um, for the band, uh, daily I, I, I think I work about four or three hours in, in a way doing music, and in the other way just managing the doing the contacts and trying to do the tours and label yeah. and graphics and all these things. So it's a like like, like a little company. Because this work is, is hard work, so this is why I think the, the things happens, in a way. And as well, I, I I I like for sure I love this music, not for commercial purposes. Yeah. Uh, it's a really it's not I think it's just for few people, the feelings and the, the technique and the, the, all the musical discussion, and as well the lyrics. I think the music is really special and everyone that are into this thing, are, I think, are following this special spine on, on, on this music. It's kind of dark, it's kind of powerful. And we don't know so much about musical, we don't have so much musical knowledge on it. It's just, it's just a weird music and really powerful. Um, yeah, how did this actually kick off back there in Chile? I heard about that there was a 4% increase uh, for the uh, prices of um, mm -hmm. Subway or, or what was yeah, that? Yeah, what is, uh, happens, uh, I, I read the news here in, in Berlin. Uh, uh, it was that the, the underground, the, the Uban, the, the government, the, they Oh, oh, yeah, put the prices more, they, they make the prices more higher, a percent, a little percent. And what, what, what happens was the, the minister, economy minister, I, I think he says that the, because the, if the people want to save money, they have to w wake up uh, more early. So the people get gets, uh, hungry with that uh, kind of uh, black sense of humor. So yeah. the the first one that they make the riots were the the the, the, the people in the school the the, the 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 young ones. So they didn't want to pay for the for the the train and stuff. So the, the things get get bigger and bigger and bigger. So this was the beginning of the thing. The people really was was molested and they started to uh, realize about the poor conditions that they have. Even the people that earn money over there have lots of stress. It's a common thing for everyone. Having a high amount of stress results actually in awesome music. 
if you kind of know how the guys of Sepultura were dealing with their uh, yeah, sure. things, that was insane. And the albums they did when they were completely broke, yeah, you know, sure. in a violence-ridden place was uh, phenomenal, you know. Yeah. yeah, I think the Europeans like, uh, in a way, the, the, how the South Americans can put the, the feelings on, on the music as, as well. The band says that the, when we they, they play, they, they do tours over there. The, the people are, have, are, are really empathic and really crazy with the music. It's really electric. I think, I think because the people don't have so much things to do, and it's because the society is the South American society. So just I, when I was in Chile, just I have to go to job, have a girlfriend, and have a band, and try to think about doing another cultural things. But there is not so much things to do in South America. So people, for them, the music is something important. Really, it's, it's be, but I mean, it's because I, I, I think it's because just. In Chile or South America, is uh, lack of uh, things to do, and there's, the life is kind of uh, uh, not, not so not so big for most, mostly of the people. Yes. Hey, uh, little do you know, but this guy here, as well as uh, a lot of South American bands, actually made their own instruments to play on. Which, uh, if you are Western European or Northern American, you don't tend to do it. You actually buy your stuff. You don't yeah. build your own. Uh, that's uh, that's something common, right? A lot of people do that. Uh, and uh, when uh, when we have Pinochet there and we have a um, kind of a oppressive government, uh, the people they want to play uh, rock. Mostly of the Chileans like the the rock, and yeah. it's pretty different from the center of uh, uh, South America because the people there they like more to dance, and in Chile the people like more the in a way the Anglo-Saxon music in a way. So uh, it's, they don't they are square to dance, and they are it's a, they have empathy for the rock rock music, and when the people don't have money at the in the eighties, just uh, they started to make their own instruments and drums, guitar, amplifiers, and stuff. Just the rich ones have uh, the chance to get a real. Uh, Instruments. The salary for the mostly of the people there is about uh, right now 350 euros, and the, the cost of life for uh, a shitty apartment you have to pay about mm, I think 250. So the this happens uh, is a large amount of uh, the community that have this problem. So it's, it's a really antisocial point of view that the government have because it's, the, it's the, like they're living in the darkness. It's people that don't have a voice. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the summer, I, I, I set up a, a store for sale uh, breakfast and I, I, in, a, in a, a working place and I saw many people with mo many problems get, getting to the job and shitty jobs, not, don't earn so much money and they have the problems with their bosses and they just can stay for jobs about two months, three months, really insecure way to, to live really. And the, it's the, the shitty thing is that these people don't have voices. They don't have a voice, they don't have an expression. I have this van at least to, to talk about what has happened in my head, but these people just they can take a beer or, or cocaine and stuff. So this is it's really a pity thing, really it's a shame. I, I am in contact, obviously, with a lot of Central American and our South American bands and mm. artists, you know, through the channel and, mm. uh, and uh, also our friends of mine. And uh, in general, uh, this metal community over there seems to be somewhat of a stabilizing factor, you know, because you get these gigs and there is obviously some violence going on wherever you go. Sure. You know, but not that much in metal gigs. But what you have put out in this book over here mm -hmm. is also a... Uh, uh, man, you describe here acts of insane levels of violence. I mean, that's not a normal occurrence, is it? I, I think it's uh, pretty no normal in South America. The neighbors, when you are a kid, uh, we have wars in between the... Little wars between the my 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 street, the people from my street with the the, the other ones that live in the other. Yeah, and kind of funny things, uh, but uh, yeah, happens many violent things. I think it's it's not uh, usual for Germans or stuff, but in Chile, it's every week we you have uh, you can experience kind of uh, these kind of things, and it's it's part of the culture and makes you in a way it's kind of interesting because you every time you have these kind of shitty things happening and 
and it's part of the life there. Every 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 time happens these thing, these kind of things when you are a kid and you live in outside of the center of the city in the, in the suburbs. It's a really ag aggressive culture. Uh, I I think I w it was a kid that uh, raped the other youngest kids, and he he makes makes he makes this thing exchanging uh, uh, toys. So the, yeah. So it's uh it's, it's for me for maybe for you people is is unusual but for us is is this the part of the the thing part of the deal. By the way, you didn't foresee any of these protests back then when you were writing this no, book. No, I, I was here in Berlin and the, the things happened in, in just in a moment. I was mm. in shock in a way because uh, it was a surprise. N never the, in, in the past when I wrote this book, no, nothing do, did some, uh, the people didn't do manifestations and stuff like that. So it was mm. a really big surprise for, for me. And for everyone, I guess. You're done with your sixth tour here now, yeah, sure. and you are leaving tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, never knows, but I think it's in the schedule. Yeah. All right. So okay, you, go back. so you'll be back uh, to Chile in a matter of a few days. Yeah. And I mean, what are you expecting now? This is incredible. You were like having here, you know, your tour and yeah. having all of that, what uh, that metal musician has. And now you're returning somewhere and you just left a normal country and you're coming back into yeah. a, I, what, a, almost a civil war of a kind. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know why it happens, but I, I think the people right now uh, are more peaceful and the, the rights there are not like in the 80s. And I think that what the people are asking, I think, in my opinion, that they will reach a, a solution uh, pretty, uh, pretty soon. Just, I think that the problems are, are heavy, but I think it will not be a really kind of a civil war thing happening there. All right. Uh, there's a few, I have lots of respect there. I see the numbers and there are lots of dead people right now, but yeah, I, I, I it's uh, I don't want to be unpolite, but I think it are about theory or something that people during the manifestations things. I don't see. I really. Uh, I just saw in Facebook that was 20 some days ago or something mm. like this. Well, it wouldn't be a surprise, you know. There's like one million people were protesting there. That's insane. Yeah, it's insane, and the 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 government just put the military people in the streets. They don't just use the police. It's a really mm. aggressive way to. They, they put the professional ones in the streets. Those those they have more control and they have military uh, instructions. So this is the way that Chileans do the. They want to control the, the thing. <laughs> it's really unusual. The yeah. Chileans, the, it's the, the, the wars, we don't have a war since, I don't know, many years ago, just the, the military people just, in most of the cases, just are repressing the civil population. So well, everybody needs a job, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, I think so, but it's really crazy what is happening about Chile. I think it came from 20, 200 years ago when they do the papers and stuff, mm -hmm. how they wrote the, the way to live in, in the, you know, in the big law, in the constitution. Yes. Yeah. I understand. All right. So this is the book. We kind of were just uh, working a little bit off of it. It's Chilean Burger Kingdom, uh, written by this young fine man here. And people can buy this book uh, over Facebook. Yeah. Right, right. So uh, if you're interested, drop him a line. I will uh, leave the links to his project and your personal account down below in the first pinned link. So if you're interested, hit this guy up and he can help you out. Uh, listen, uh, Victor, thank you very much. Thanks to you, man. Um, yeah. I think that's it for politics and for music ever on this channel. It was the first and the last time. I hope so, at least. Yeah. Um, Underground Metal TV, get subscribed. And if you know somebody who is from South America, share this video with them. Yeah.